the Federal Ministry of Health is actively working with the Ministry of Higher Education and other stakeholders to address health workforce shortages in the country. Preparation of national health policy together with national health strategic plan for the period of 2012 to 2016 based on a 25 year health strategy. This work enabled us to introduce a framework for harmonization of funding and donor support. As a fruit of that, we succeeded in obtaining support for a proposal for several agencies, including Gavi, this is of the vaccines, and the Global Fund. Difficulties and the challenges. Despite progress in several domains, some challenges facing healthcare in Sudan are still experienced. We are still fa uh, falling short of achieving the commitment of increasing governmental spending to 15%, this according to the Abuja Declaration of the MDGs. There are an estimated 14% of the country population experiencing problems in access to health care and primary health care services need to expand to cater for, for those populations who inhabit rural and remote areas. Efforts also remain to be exerted to combat the major communicable diseases and to address the rising burden of chronic illnesses in addition to epidemics and health emergencies. Curative care also needs to be further developed, especially in relation to tertiary care and specialized centers in order to respond to health needs and minimize uh, trouble to obtain health care abroad. In the domain of the health workforce, there are also some difficulties and challenges, including, including the inequitable distribution of health professionals with high density in Khartoum and big urban centers. A rising trend of migration among doctors and health professionals affecting coverage and quality of health services in addition to uh, capacity for medical and health professions education. Despite this defect, the uh, country is benefiting from the migrant professionals also. Uh, inadequate investment in postgraduate education and specialty programs for doctors and health professionals resulting in severe shortages in some critical disciplines such as new surgery and surgery. You know, you, you know this, uh, <laughs> these terms are very, very difficult for, for me as I'm, a not, I'm not a doctor. I, I, most of you know that I'm not a doctor. <laughs> and, and the uh, radiology and etc. An evident weakness in the sector of nursing, midwifery, and paramedics in terms of educational capacity, specialized cadres, and availability in public sector facilities. Lastly, uh, prospects and way forward. We have the awareness about those challenges and our, uh, our national plans and strategies consider ways of addressing the difficulties and challenges facing healthcare in Sudan. I take this opportunity of this conference that focuses on migration and health workforce issues to, to summarize some of the relevant suggestions and interventions we are considering to improve population health in Sudan. Sudan will need 
to be supported in its efforts to address the searches of the shortage of health professionals, especially in nursing, midwifery, and paramedics, in addition to filling gaps in specialized doctors in some disciplines. Uh, specialized doctors and some disciplines. In this regard, Sudan Medical uh, Specialization Board is taking the lead in scaling up postgraduate medical education and will need to collaborate with Sudanese doctors abroad, including in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland and with the Irish institutions, such as the Royal College of Surgeons. The same will be needed for the Academy of Health Sciences, which is leading the scale-up program in nursing, midwifery, and paramedics. Collaboration in nursing, midwifery, and paramedics uh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, I said that we need to scale up a program in nursing, midwifery, and paramedics. Collab collaboration is also needed on aspects related to regulation and quality assurance of healthcare and health professions. Tremendous efforts are currently being exerted by the Federal Ministry of Health and the uh, Sudan Medical Council in aspects, uh, in, in uh, Sudan Medical Council in this aspect. The work of the Sudan Medical Council in registration, national exams, and accreditation of the medical schools is worthy of noting. We encourage collaboration with Irish agencies such as Irish Medical Council in this respect. We are also working on addressing migration challenge, making use of global code of practice adopted by the WHO in 2010. Our efforts are focusing on migration management through bilateral agreements and improvement of working conditions to retain health staff. The potential of Sudanese medical diaspora is also great with huge numbers of qualifi qualified health professions practicing in several countries, including the uh, UK and the Republic of Ireland. Uh, Republic of Ireland. Our suggestions in this domain include obtaining information and database on our health professions abroad in terms of numbers, categories, and specializations. Facilitation of return of migrant health uh, professions through integration in the healthcare and medical ed education, both in public and private sectors. Planning and support of temporary return where migrant health Provisions can contribute to health care and medical education in Sudan through short visits and missions within structures and streamlined programs. Facilitation of diaspora efforts in mobilization of expertise and support from institutions in host countries such as UK, Ireland to support the health care services and education in Sudan. The, these are only examples of the prospects and suggestions to avert challenges facing health care in Sudan. I take this opportunity of this unique gathering in, uh, involving Sudanese and Irish institutions and figures to encourage and welcome collaboration and bilateral arrangements between Sudanese and Irish institutions in the spirit of strengthening collaboration and mutual benefits. We will be glad in Sudan and in the Federal Ministry of Health to see more of exchanges and cooperation around health issues with Irish government and agencies. 
Finally, I would like to again thank all Sudanese health professionals in the UK and Ireland, and especially the Sudanese Medical Association uh, for inviting us for this vital event addressing such an important topic. Gratitude extends for those Sudanese health professionals working abroad who have always shown dedication and enthusiasm to serve their country in different uh, uh, capacities. I also would like to thank the senior Irish delegates, participants, for sharing with us their experience and knowledge, also for sacrificing their weekend and attending this conference. Also, I would like to thank Irish people for hosting Sudanese doctors and allied health professionals in this country. Uh, uh, offering them training, skills, and profession, professional values. I would like to declare our commitment in the government and the Federal Ministry of Health to support initiatives from our health professionals working abroad to help, to help uh, the improvement of population health and uh, the population uh, health and health care in our beloved country. I, uh, lastly, I would like to thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much.